So what was your dominant impression from the meeting? It uh, was of a determined president, a president-elect, who is making the transition from being a campaigner to being a national strategist and was trying to inform himself on the various aspects of internet, of of the current situation. You've seen many uh, president-elects come into office. What this one seems quite unusual. What do you see as the, the challenges and opportunities for a President Trump? Well, this president-elect, it's the most unique that I have experienced in one respect. He has absolutely no package. He has no application to any particular group because he has become a president on the basis of his own strategy and, what, and a program he put before the American public that his competitors did not present. So that is a unique situation. You say he has no baggage. Um, you're right in the sense that he, he doesn't come out of a particular foreign policy tradition or school, but he has said a whole number of things during the campaign. And one thing he's been very insistent on is protectionism. Um, he's talked about, you know, labeling China a currency manipulator, a manipulator, 35 percent, 45 percent tariffs, uh, renegotiating trade deals. Um, you know China very well. How will they react if the president uh, labels them a currency manipulator? Of course, you understand. I'm not here as a spokesman yeah. of the president-elect. I'm here at, to answer questions of my impressions. Of uh, uh, There is the impact of globalization, and I wrote minor things about that earlier. Not enough attention was paid to the fact that it was bound to have winners and losers, and that the losers were bound to try to express themselves in some kind of political reaction. In my view, in the present situation, one has to, one should not insist on nailing him into positions that he had taken in the campaign on which he doesn't insist. If he insists on them, then of course disagreements will, will become uh, expressed. But if he develops another program and leaves the question open of what he said in the campaign, one should not make that the decisive element. You're saying very nicely that we should welcome some flip-flops. I think we should give him an opportunity to develop the positive objectives that he may have and to discuss and to discuss those. And we've gone through too many decades of tearing incumbent administrations apart. And it may happen again uh, but we shouldn't begin that way. And we shouldn't end up that way either. But uh, So that would be uh, my basic view. Um, Donald Trump has often said that he'd like to make a deal with Putin, that he thinks that he and Putin could make a deal. I think you're the American who has met with Vladimir Putin more one-on-one -on -one than almost anybody else, and more than 25 meetings. What would you recommend uh, that Trump...